What's up guys, welcome to the artclass.com drawing and painting video tutorial. Uh, today is going to be a basic video tutorial on how to draw a muscular body or how to draw a torso. So we have a diagram of this uh, muscle group for the torso here including the shoulder and then I'm going to explain to you what they are and where they, which one is overlapping which. Then I'm going to show you how to draw a torso from the front side, then the side, and then how it's, um, which part of the muscle can pinch and uh, extend it or stretch. Uh, then we are going to draw uh, a few different positions of the muscle like twist and uh, lifting up the arm then we are going to learn how to draw the body from the side view where uh, how the arm position and where is the scapular position would be up and down all right let's get started so first I'm going to explain how this uh, muscle group of torso composed of or uh, what are they and uh, I also include the muscle in the back but in this tutorial we are not going to draw a lot of backs uh, we can have another tutorial later on about drawing backs because these are two uh, different things and there's a, a lot more you can there's going to be a longer video if I including the backs in this one it would be more than an hour so in this video I use um, sketchbook pro which uh, you can use pencil to follow I'm just using line so it's basically the same thing or you can use Photoshop or any drawing program you can use iPad anything um, sketchbook pro it's, it's a simple uh, drawing uh, software that mimic basically uh, how to draw on a pencil and paper and it's easier for me to record on the computer rather than trying to shoot it and convert it and then um, it is a longer process so this way is a lot easier but it's basically the same thing they are just program and program like pencil brush or whatever they're just tool so tool changes with ages so uh, if you have a problem with digital I, I don't see how because uh, all the stuff that you see on TV movie film video games they are all from basically mostly digital but a lot of people who make those stuff are able to draw stuff in uh, pencil and paper and if you don't like this one then you can just go watch my pencil and paper on my channel or there's other channel alright um, I'm just going to break this down into the, the easy muscle group um, like big group I'm not going to break it down to like a small nitpicky one so if you can see this one is pectoral on the chest which is go uh, let me maybe use different color here we just go from here and a little bit here so usually when you draw the front you will see this muscle here uh, that connect from your chest to the deltoid or the shoulder muscle and then that's gonna be a bicep here and then the back so you can see the front and the back when you draw in the front like a little bit of the back muscle which is uh, it's from the um, so that muscle in the back is connected to the scapular or shoulder blade right here so this is the dark blue part here so when you draw a body you should have uh, uh, collarbones then this is traps and then that's arm so the arms basically in between the pecs and the, the back muscle the scapular muscle around the shoulder blade and then your biceps coming from out here so uh, on both sides so that's a pectoral and then your deltoid uh, is kind of connected from here because the, the pecs come all the way here and then it's end here and then your scalp uh, your sorry deltoid or shoulder muscle will end up here then you're going to have the abdominal muscle which uh, it consists of a bunch of muscle group but we're just going to uh, call it the abdominal or six pack so or apex because there are a group of muscle that go all the way down to your groins and then on the side here you're gonna have oblique which is like uh, it kind of look like a fish gill or I mean a fish scale that those are your rib uh, muscle that connected to your rib cage basically 
but they call the oblique muscle and the serratus, which is in the back that connected to um, the dorsi, the latimus dorsi. Um, so that's the front muscle that you should uh, know in the front. And also you can see a little bit of, of your traps, uh, which is the muscle that connected from your uh, the top of your back uh, along the upper part of your back shoulder connected to that and uh, uh, deltoid then you have this uh, muscle group here that, sh uh, that connected to your scapula here then this can move up or down and if you notice that you can see that the front a little the front muscle is basically smaller than the back is because if you if you look around the top view your your back muscle has to extend for you be for you to be able to reach up front and your front can contract you can't go the other way around that's why your back is way wider than your front muscle so your front muscle is basically just here to here your back muscle is like out here um, so and you can have the mid back muscle which is um, connected to your uh, scapula uh, and your uh, shoulder blade that coming down here and it's and then you can have this uh, this blue part also a part of a serratus and the oblique that go to the side this will be your glute or basically your butt and then it's go down and then you can have the, some muscle on the legs from the inside and then um, so on down there but we're gonna do we're not gonna do back today but uh, you're gonna get this diagram just go to the link I'm gonna have the link up to the right corner of the if you click on the right corner icon you can see a bunch of links and then we have the link to the full post that have a bunch of the this image and also including the image that I'm gonna be drawing so you can download this diagram and then you can download a bunch of image from there so um, if you have any question on these just post them down in the comment below now we are going to start drawing some torso or some muscular body all right let's get started all right so in this tutorial i'm using sketchbook pro um, you can download it for PC, iPad, Mac, I think they have all of them and they are pretty cheap and not like Photoshop they are expensive and again um, if I draw a little too fast I'm not I don't usually use a uh, sketchbook pro but I'm gonna try to do more and it, it slow me down but if this um, I still I draw slower on the sketchbook pro because I don't have a lot of shortcut uh, but if it's go too fast please press pause don't be alarmed um, you have a pause button so you can pause anytime you want you can draw along with pencil and paper or pen and paper if you like um, it shouldn't be a problem because they, they're just line they're not nothing complicated all right so here we go so I'm just gonna move this canvas a little bit see I'm kind of slow here um, just gonna use pencil and some dark bark color don't know what color that is but I think it's kind of pretty and I'm just trying to figure out I was like, oh I click pencil and this doesn't happen I have to go back to zoom to click it to take the zoom off so I usually start off with the collarbones and then rib cage and then the waistline uh, which that part is uh, a bunch of muscle or stomach um, and it doesn't have any uh, bone structures to connect um, then deltoid and bicep and tricep same thing here so in here I'm just trying to get a pretty rough idea of where the body would be then I'm just going to connect it with the pecs onto then now I'm going to draw the rib cage which the rib cage would continue on to the back uh, to your back muscle that connected to your scapula or your shoulder blade then I'm going to draw the midline and belly button and that will be midsection of your abdominal now uh, I'm just drawing a little bit of pelvis Here's the traps or um, the, your back or the back of your shoulder that connected to your neck. I'm going to draw a little bit of head. There. 
so and then belly button there and I'm gonna make another layer and try to refine this muscle a little bit more so there your butt is it shouldn't be like that hard I just have to put them to the right on the right spot like especially on the area that the arms connected to the torso would be important like I said um, there are the muscle from the pecs that connected to your deltoid that I explained earlier and that will be you know the muscle that right in front of your armpit and that's connected to your uh, deltoid now we we draw on some collarbones there going up and refining part of the pectoral muscle or the chest and the bicep it's coming from inside of your midsection of that body where your armpits coming out then you can see deltoid and the tricep from the outside so deltoid and you see the line from deltoids going in because at this position your biceps kind of pointing in so you can see a little bit of tricep and you can see a little bit of deltoid before tricep and triceps like behind deltoid that's why you can see that line overlapping from deltoid now I'm going to if you see that line above this here is like the hollow of the rib cage and the rib cage going in here sometimes you see a gap between your first line of abdominal muscle and your first line of six pack um, there will be a little bit of a gap because it depends on the person some person has like uh, a longer you know you can have you can see some people that have like the six pack right after the pecs and some people have a little bit of a gap you know a little bit of distance uh, because that's where the the rib cage in and solar plex area so so now we have the body all right it's easy enough and you can draw like six or eight pack doesn't matter and I'm trying to figure out how to use the eraser I'm just using eraser on my pen but it the size doesn't go up and when I resize the eraser on my pen it, it changing the size of my uh, pen also so I guess uh, I just figured that out I have, I have to pick it from the interface on the left hand side and use that as an eraser instead so I can have a different side between pen and pencil so uh, that was just uh, because I'm not used to the program and then the midsection from two pecs and then the muscle line between the pecs and the deltoid so that's just a little um, touch up on the two different muscles and now um, so important point here is usually I would I usually start off with basically the collarbone and the rib cage just to get the frame right and then um, you can notice where the spine going and then um, the midsection will be soft and it could a bend pinch and stretch and now it's a pelvis which is the hard part so it's, sometimes you see pelvis bone poking out the front and another important line here so basically on this side on this part here on your rib cage you can't bend this part this part is going to be solid and on this part both sides it can stretch uh, squash pinch and on this side of your uh, hip or your pelvis uh, it's going to be straight you can't pinch it flat so when you draw uh, an action pose be aware of this area that this area can uh, change or can bend but this area can't it's, it's a solid basically solid mass um, also um, the, the pecs would always go from here and connect with your deltoid when you go out up to here and then your arm will come from underneath it and then you have the back muscle or you know the scapular muscle come from there like I explained earlier so that is another important point uh, to draw from same thing as there and then your bicep basically came from the middle of that all right so and then basically this part is that I'm drawing here is uh, bicep that's coming out and the bicep you can see 
uh, but half of this bicep and the other half is this tricep that come from the in-between. And again, I'm trying to emphasize the lower pecs and the arm, so, and the back. So that's how you do a correct back. And it's, it doesn't have to be, you know, the distance, the gap between these two doesn't have to be that big. Depends. Sometimes you see like a really small gap, but it's usually like that. Sometimes you see like people with uh, muscular, then they'll have like a bigger uh, scapular or bigger back. So, so next we are going to draw a uh, side view. Just going to make another layer here. Or maybe not. Again, I'm start out with... Uh, Rib cage, spine, and pelvis. And if you notice a person stands um, from the side view, usually it will arc or it will concave. So usually you will hardly ever see a straight line because usually if you notice yourself that like your back will kind of um, start arcing from, from your pelvis on. So the back usually curve, either be concave or uh, the other way around. Uh, sometimes it would be a C curve or S curve. So what I mean is here, so S curve, right? And sometimes if you slouch, you have a C curve. You will never see a straight line. Um, it's almost impossible. So their stomach part, and then your glute or your butt, and your butt muscle from the side usually will kind of go in there. So. Uh, but some people do have flat glutes um, and that's pretty normal too. Don't be alarmed if your glutes are flat. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But it shouldn't be that flat. It shouldn't be like flat. <laughs> it, you could have a little bit of bump. Slightly little. And there's abdominal here that goes stretch around all the way to the groin area. It's like multiple patch. And then the thigh and pecs again. And you see that line is the line where um, your pectoral come over here and then it has another curve which is going to be a bump where this come all the way down here. The muscles kind of overlap here and then your deltoid muscles start to come out. So you should have a little bit of a bump. And the lower pecs. Then abdominal. Start from rib cage. So that line is the connect line of the rib cage. You look at those side and then I start having first uh, row of abdominal, second row, third row. And then some oblique or rib cage. So there, the abdominal from the side view and oblique from the other side or a cage from the front view i forgot to draw them so i just thought i'll add them now all right and a little bit of scapular and that's uh this line that I just draw is uh the part where your pelvis bone show up and a lot of time if you try to draw something that a you know, superhero or a muscular guy that you know starve. Um, everybody has abs. It's just that you don't see them. Um, you'll be able to see your abs if your body fat's lower than seven to eight percent for male. Uh, for female, if your body percent is lower than thirteen percent, you should be able to see abs. Um, so you don't need to work out for abs. You just need to lower the fat body fat level. Then you see your abs, guarantee you. Um, so abs is not part of working out. But you can make them bigger um, by working out. Your abs will get bigger. Uh, just put some overload on them and your abs will get bigger. But if you still have a um, thick layer of fat, like say you have 10% fat but body fat, then 10 to 15%, you an, uh, over 10, over 15 most likely you won't uh, see any line of abs. Uh, so now just drawing some pelvis bone and some uh, rib cage, and as you can see, the neck will go straight from the shoulder on, and then you see the the back 
uh, spine line kind of concave from the side. So if you want to see your abs, so it's easier for you to, to you know, draw your muscle or something, you're going to have to lower your body fat, basically. Um, all right. I'm sure there's some book for that. So here we're going to, um, I'm going to, it's, it's like some kind of a beam, but I'm going to explain how um, the body works from the side view. So the front part of your body can pinch from under your like when you bend down this part that supports rib cage, uh, you can't pinch on top of the rib cage because it's a solid object. But from the stomach down, it can have like this really hard edge or really, you know, abrupt curve or 90 degree or even more uh, because there are just a bunch of uh, internal organs. There's no bones and there's a, a uh, muscle tissue so when you bend forward your tummies tend to go in and it has that you know you can make a wrinkle but on the opposite side which is the back on the back you can't bend back because that's your um, bone structure or your spine line which your spine line can only bend so much uh, it can arc you know if you arc back it's probably not you're not, not going to arc that much that's probably the most you can arc but in the front, you can bend a lot more because there's more room in your stomach. So you can bench more and you can have that um, flesh area that pinch uh, right below your stomach. And right in between your uh, the end of your rib cage and the beginning of your pelvis. So, oops, I was pressing something wrong. And again, uh, your pectoral will connect it to your deltoid. And under the deltoid, you see bicep. And there'll be a ribcage, so I'm trying to connect that. So be aware when you draw a body position from the side view, uh, your spine can only bend so much. And then uh, some thighs, some glutes. I hope you know what I'm drawing here. <laughs> oh, there you go. So I'm just going to add some ribcage there. So uh, the ribcage is called oblique, and oblique. Um, also, if you have, you don't need to work out, you just need to lower your body fat. Um, I'm sure you can go on YouTube and search for that, like body fat percentage, how to lower them and stuff. Then you'll be, you look like the character you create. So, anyways, just trying to correct some line here. There's so many lines here and I don't really know how to use eraser here. <laughs> so, just, so, if I'm drawing that from the front view, that what it would look like. So your, your upper body would come in full shortening, and then you have the head there, and your head will show up in the middle of your uh, pectoral um, collarbones and your traps. So it's kind of like a similar thing as when your arm <clears throat> having this uh, pectoral here, and having on the back you have the scapular muscle that go around scapula and your arms kind of pop up in the middle. Head's kind of the same thing. The necks kind of pop up in between this collarbone and the traps um, uh, or the, you know, big shoulder muscle that connected to, to your neck. And so when you bend forward, then that's what you see. And I'm just going to add a little bit of some teeth there, get the angry face. All right, so I'm just going to move on. And see, um, it's a lot more abrupt change of play in the front and on the back, it's, it's a lot smoother. You can't bend that far on the back. So just be aware when you drawing uh, some figure. All right, let's move on. So this one, what am I doing? Oh, that's a rib cage. And then I'm going to have one arm up and the other arm down. And this, the right side of the screen body will be stretched and the other side of the waist of the body will be squished. Then some neckline, um, deltoid there, bicep, deltoid up from, so I'm going to draw a trap first, then deltoid goes up from the traps and the 
pectoral, then the underarm or the that's, I think that's the tricep, and then the back rib cage, and then you have the pinch on the left side of the screen, and the leg kind of flow. So on the right side of the screen, your body kind of stretch a little bit, and then the left side you have pinch on those flesh. And I'm going to add another layer to maybe add some detail. So it's just a, a rough line. Usually I'll draw something pretty rough first to get the gesture down. Kind of like you ever seen like uh, animation drawing. I used to animate for um, Disney game. So those are pretty rough line for gesture line and try to get those gesture for the keyframe or something. Usually pretty rough and I usually use like Prisma color. So uh, red, Tuscan red Prisma color is my favorite. And Prisma color, um, there's a, oh no, not Prisma, a uh, cold erase Prisma color because you can erase them. So there you see the armpit, uh, that muscle line that from the pecs that connected to their toy and then in between that so you can see this is the bicep that go up here this is the line that split if you lift your arm and you look that's a bicep and then after this we tricep that coming from underneath it so so that line in between your if you lift it up and look at it in the front the line that split you can see like that really really pronounced line that split your bicep from tricep from the inside and then from that pinch you have the abdominal muscle usually when I draw the abdominal muscle I'm gonna have like the midsection I'm gonna split split the midsection first so I can uh, tell which way it's going because sometimes you draw it in perspective you know where the midlines are and you see the other side of the abdominal be shorter and the other side of the closer side of the abdominal be longer so it's easier to calculate perspective that way but always draw the rib cage first so you know where um, your abdominal start and you know where your uh, waistline start because like here you see the rib cage that's where the solid line will be and then here will be the cushy solid line will go in and there's cushy you know flesh only there's no bone involved um, so you have to notice that and again, arms, I emphasize where it's coming from and the, the neck, where it's popping up from. So, so now I'm going to show you where the ribcage are. So the ribcage are here, there, and then pelvis. And then you got your femur, and then, and usually uh, for the easier idea, like usually I'll, I'll get the straight line just to represent it from the pelvis and uh, shoulder to kind of know where it bent you see what I mean if I'm trying to stretch it this way then I'm gonna bend it this way I'm doing drawing this uh, horizontal line to kind of um, giving myself an idea of where to bend and where the, the arm would go instead of trying to draw the whole bone because sometimes uh, you need to get something done fast you, you need to have shortcut so those are kind of like shortcut but you need to know where exactly it ends and where exactly it starts so there, the necks popping up from the collarbone and the traps and the arms popping up from in between the pecs and this back muscle of scapular. All right, I'm repeating myself here, but I hope it's useful. Okay, so, oh, and in this position uh, is different from the previous one because now I'm, I'm rotating this. So you can see the deltoid behind this because I'm moving this up and the biceps in the front as previously if this line of deltoid coming forward and this um, behind that means that's its tricep so the easiest way to convey uh, like if you look at your comic book and sometimes you see this line behind this line that means the biceps in the front if you see uh, the deltoid in front of that line that means uh, the tricep you the, the the biceps kind of hidden or turning inward to the body. So that's another tip from easy drawing. All right. All right, what are we doing here? Oh, so now I'm going to make some twists. So if your upper body twisting left and your lower body or your 
pelvis twisting right. So uh, that would be also be an interesting uh, position, and you often do that. So again, I'm just going to using vertical line to represent the shoulder, and then I'm going to come down here, and the other vertical line will represent the pelvis. And as you can see, the front twisting to the left hand side, and that's the uh, the front or the the pecs, and then the the pelvis is kind of going kind of a little forward, a little bit to the right hand side. So as you can see, the pec, uh, pectoral there. You can see the abdominal and traps, neck, and then you see deltoid coming out, bicep, tricep, and you can see uh, pecs in perspective, and then these two legs coming forward. It's kind of like he's twisting his upper body backward and then one two three abdominal line and oblique and then um, the scapular or the so they have that line represent and you have like the axis for your um, shoulder and the axis for your hips kind of easier to represent when you're trying to twist um, the body. And you see the left, uh, the right side of skin pectoral is coming forward you and the left side of screen pectoral is going away from you. So the right side of screen pectoral is going to be a little bit uh, longer and bigger just gonna use some eraser to erase some part here a little there we go but usually I'll start off with those um, axis line vertical line all right so now um, Rib cage, collarbones. Go toy and try tri bicep tricep. So I'm trying to make this like a foreshortening like what I did before. So you see the head on top, you won't see much of the neck because it's coming forward. But you see the traps and the collarbones, a little bit of pecs. And part of the abdominal going in perspective in and then you see the pelvis come out. So it's kind of like the, the bending, body bending forward position like what I did to the, to the side view. Then I'm drawing the arms coming out. So usually I will use some sort of a thing of... Uh, geometry shape for the cylinder like that foreshortening from the fist to the forearm and cylinder coming out again for one one legs coming forward and the other legs going backward so try to use your uh, geometry shape to help uh, convey the position of which uh, which part of the body is facing which way going forward backward so when I'm drawing this in profile that will be position of the profile it's a little rough but you get what am I? You get what I'm saying. That's masterpiece right there. All right. So let's do one a little bit more. Then we're done. I swear. Um, you don't have to watch any more than this. So we're just gonna draw the side view of the body. But this time, I'm gonna have the arm coming forward. So I'm gonna have one arm, uh, one of them, the arm come forward and the other one have the arm going backward. And, uh, there's a big difference there. Uh, like I said, the, the back side is larger than the front side because uh, your, your back need to extend it way more because you can 
you know, embrace something, you embrace it, you know, your back extend and your front is kind of collapse or um, going inwards. So you see the this uh, oblique muscle coming out and you see the muscle that cover the scapular, you see the traps, those are huge muscle and then you see the traps the neck and then the, the shoulder to the neck and then the deltoid. See what I mean? So, and then a little bit of pecs. So when your arms coming forward, usually if you swing way more, you won't even see the pecs if you rotate it a, a bit more. If you push your arm like, say if you extended your arm way a little bit more, you won't even see the pecs. But this is just a, in the normal position. If you extend, like your scapula will come out. And this is in the midway. But if you extend it a little more, your scapula will extend it way big. And then you can see a little bit of um, oblique, but you won't get to see any like pectoral muscle. So there, and you can see tons of back. So that's uh, extending your arm forward. And you can see more um, of how the arm extending forward, what it would look like just for the arm itself on my um, drawing arm tutorial. I'll have the link up to that. Yeah, I should have the link, right? Yeah, I'll have the link up to the right, the the icon on the top right corner. I don't understand why. I I don't. I, sometimes I think of things and I can't speak. It. So there, there'll be like your big muscle that connected from the deltoid to scapular to, and then you have the the mid part of the back connected to your um, oblique. Uh, you can look at the diagram. For all those muscles, and now the arms going back. So as you can see, um, I draw that part that connected the deltoid to the pectoral, which is the chest to the shoulder, and then rib cage. Then I have the extended in the back, and then bending in the front. Collarbones, deltoid. there so you can stretch that way too but it won't stretch as, as much as the front so you can only do so much when you extend it back just gonna extend it from the side you can't really go all the way back just gonna see your pecs are oblique and that's how it's gonna look from the deltoid and bicep tricep so when you bend your arm backward it won't be in the extension of what you can do when, when you bend in the front, basically. I think the muscle is getting a little confused here, so apologize. <laughs> um, I have to erase something there. So there will be your pectoral and a little bit of parts connected to your deltoid or your shoulder. And that's your deltoid muscle. And that's your bicep. And oblique. Are we doing oblique here? Yes, we do oblique. Yep. And then a little bit of uh, abdominal. All right. So I hope you like this video series. This is the second installment of uh, drawing the muscular body for male. And I'm going to keep doing, I'm um, going to do more. Uh, next one is going to be back and the legs. And then, I don't know, uh, give me some suggestion below. Back. I already did arm. So the first one is the arm and this is torso. Then we're gonna do some legs, then we're gonna do some maybe uh back no the back legs and then a bunch of body skin. Just give me an idea below on what you want to see and then I'll make them. So this is part of like the anatomy sort of tutorial. So uh hands I already did those so you can search. Usually if you're gonna search for something you can search and then put my name right next to it, then you're gonna find a video that uh I made. So Anyways, uh, you want to go and if you paint or if you draw, you can go get my premium tutorial. It's a few bucks and support the website and support a free video. And if you don't, that's cool. Um, but there's going to be more video coming. So the more you support, <laughs> the, the more videos coming. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, I also have a, a silly digital painting class if you do digital painting. So you can go for group class and one-on-one -on -one mentorship. 
Uh, usually in class, I'm not funny. Uh, usually I'm pretty strict, like super. But um, yeah, you can ask uh, any of my students that I'm not so really funny at all. And I, I mumble all the time. Um, all right. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Click on the icon on the top right corner to get to this diagram here and a bunch of cool stuff um, is coming up. So have a great weekend and day or whenever you're watching this tutorial. Bye-bye.